sir. I just had maintenance on the line. They say the water's flowing again. They are sending a team to handle the rest. Mission complete. Great. Thank you. Sir, we're mission accomplished. At ease, gentlemen. You did a great job there. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Frankly, we were on sweep-up duty after you, sir. Ah, cut that. Sweep-up duty. Sure. <laughs> on behalf of OSCOM, I'm issuing an official commendation. We serve OSCOM. <laughs> great! We'll get out of those suits and go rest. Sir, take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint. I'll call them. You just took a week's worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. Right. <clears throat> Yeah. Thank you, and goodbye, Colonel Sir. Come aboard, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Hey, guys, get aboard. We give you lift to prospect. Thank you, sir, but we're waiting for the transport from HQ. There's enough space for everyone. Good luck, then. Let's go, Petrovich. Yes, sir. <laughs> Your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot too. Hey, uh, uh, no, please. I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasny Prospect. <laughs> <laughs> Granddaughter getting worse? No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we moved to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. Yeah, but enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. <laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time. Like it always does. And you see, the bumps are failing. It's because of that slime. And they've been working it on stock for 20 years. Oh, and now this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. And soon the old counter flooding system will give up the ghost. <laughs> we'll have two robots here. <laughs> You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too, 
Please, spare me. Your singing is an atrocity. Petrovich. Happy New Year. Yeah, same to you. And don't forget, after the official ceremony, we'll be waiting for you and Kirill to drop by, as usual. We'll be there. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir, please proceed. The General is expecting you. If you take the initiative to do something, you must be ready to see the thing you started to the end. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir! Oh, Slava! I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There's been a new development here while you were out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? Yes, stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now, I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country so that we know where to go. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy. Okay? Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? All right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the good news for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a second. Better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer, unless... How about some tea? <sighs> you do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Seryoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, it definitely does. He used to be on the soft side. Like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him. Almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and uh, I speak as someone who's been well, watching you too. I think I'll get I going think you're now. doing amazingly well. He's growing up a real man! An Oscom fighter. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go, go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. Colonel, sir! Hello, Colonel, sir. A happy new year to you. Hello, sir. There's too many people in the way. You can't really go through. You'd better go up through the restaurant and get to the gallery from there. You filthy drunkard! Just look at yourself, you pig! The brass. Got it. Happy new year, Colonel Klevenko. Look, one day we are going to go outside, are we not? We are not moles to be at least hug you. I bet you didn't expect
expect an ambush here? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your citra? Oh! The mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There's just one light bulb remaining. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad! I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see, I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on! Mission accomplished! Good job, Private! Thank you. Oh, Dad, I have something for you. Here, Petrovich helped me fix it. Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow. The tree is so beautiful. Yes. Listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year. But all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. The well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year, expecting change for the better. And it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a happy new year. Happy 2035! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Happy New Year! Damn! This sucks! The damn generator is out again. Kirill, Miller here. Comms check. Do you read me? Over. Kirill, I'm at the trading stores. Where's that passage to Sibirskaya? It's downstairs. Oscom HQ used to be there. They brought the green substitutes from the people there. I see. Confiscations. Found it! Thank you, Private. Citizens, we urge you to remain calm. Voluntarily submit your stocks of radio protector to the authorities. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. May I, General? Sir? Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. 
First, we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split people into sorts? The ones we say first, and then the you rest know what's the dregs? At stake. Our children, among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you, of all people. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me now. Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. I want another smoke. How about you? Don't mind if I do. Help yourself then. It's been a while since I had smokes like this. The dirty stations are crawling with troublemakers. You know the sort. They've been rambling about doing away with the regime and starting a new life. And they're going to catch the day. Exactly. As soon as it becomes known that we've no green stuff left, and then the rumors of evacuation start. And they will. Naturally. Exaggerated ones at that. The leadership is running away, abandoning the common folk. A chance they won't miss. Well, you understand it all. We'll uphold order for as long as we can. God save us from a full-blown uprising. Still, God favors the prepared. Keep your weapon ready, Slava. We're in for one bumpy ride. <sighs> yes, this is going to get ugly. But we don't have a choice in this. Either we save who we can, or we descend into chaos and all die. So if you do have to shoot, Look at this as a war on leaving the dead. Each rioter is an animated corpse trying to drag us into its grave. <sighs> you know, I do feel drained. I guess I'll excuse myself. Of course. Have some rest while you still have a chance. I fear you haven't got long. And Slava, take care. So, what did you say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. Hello, sir. Colonel, sir, permission to address. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those, but he won't open the door. I see. Let's go. What the hell is with you? Hey, I feel like you like me a lot. Watch what you touch, so <laughs> I just remembered the New Year. Didn't we have a drink right over here? here? Come over here, sir! Of course I do, younger. Open up, Petrovich! Slava! Come in. Thanks. Follow me. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. I can't? You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock, and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. This is so unfair. I earned this, saved my wages. I know, but he we follow the rules. I found a cash set. He does have some. My cash Not too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Kormo, tell them, please. You know it's true. Sir, this can't be all he has stashed. We should search more. There's a quota. Enough. To we're only confiscating the excess stock. But sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me some. I'm sorry too. You were right about choice though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. 
Don't you know. mention it. Thank you, Slava. Enough is enough. Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air, it was calculated properly, and you're short. Pay the rest. <laughs> Oscom, open up! Ah, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want... You don't want what? To be a Private! And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please, elaborate on that. I went to see Bitterskaya, and I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up, and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? It's not easy. We're short on green stuff. That's why we must take from those who have lots of it and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Right. Of course those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah. If I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still, those soldiers were wrong. I'll make sure they are punished, and then they'll have to go and apologize. Yes, make them. They must apologize. Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot, so give me your arm. All right. Done. Miller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from Father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. Dad, do you really have to go? We didn't rest at all. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me, Dad. If we, Oscom, are protecting people, why lie to them? 
Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them must be kept secret for their own good. Do you understand that? I do, but still, this is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life, yet I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, son. Sorry about that. I know you had no choice. <laughs> had I said nothing, they would have never believed they found the water door. under the bridge. Neither I nor you had a choice in this, Petrovich. Good luck to you too. See you on the train. Thank you. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. 